As a military collector, I hate coming across stuff that's been changed from its original condition, but I can't really be too upset about that, and I'll explain why. First, though, let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about. So this right here in the front is an HBT uniform shirt, and this is an HBT uniform shirt that has had the sleeves cut off and been drawn all over to make it into some kind of like punk shirt. Here's a bag from World War II. As you can see, it's got some writing on it up there. A lot of the straps have been cut off. You can see there, even more straps on the side and the front that have been cut off. So definitely not in its original condition. It's easy to look at this stuff and think, man, why would somebody want to destroy a piece of history like that? But at the time this stuff happened, it wasn't seen that way. This stuff wasn't just cut up yesterday or something like that. They were done for practical purposes a long time ago. That pack I showed, for example, was actually my father's. Not in the military, but he got it at a surplus store or something like that as a kid. And he cut the extra straps off of it and wrote his name on it to use for a school backpack. And that uniform shirt with the sleeves cut off and the marker all over it, that actually belonged to my neighbor who served in the Korean War. But after he was done using it, he gave it to his son to play army with or whatever. And his son ended up cutting it up and making it into something new. It's hard to get upset over the fact that people wanted to find a new practical use for items they already owned. So for all the veterans and active duty military people watching this video right now, put in the comments either what you did with your uniform and equipment after you left the service or what you're planning on doing with it once you leave. Also let me know if you think it'd be weird if somebody a hundred years from now got their hands on your uniform and put it in a museum or added it to their collection. What do you think about that? Because I guarantee the World War II veterans who owned the stuff that I collect now weren't thinking about that at the time.